Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a different one. Although I do have a car boot sale to go to shortly, so that'll be good. But I'm feeling a little bit low energy, a little bit low vibration. I'm tired, mainly because I had my daughter sleeping in bed with me last night and I just can't deal with it. She's like a hot water bottle as it is and the weather was muggy and I just couldn't sleep. If it's not a foot in the side, it's an arm in the mouth. It's not an arm in the mouth, it's a bum cheek to the face. I just couldn't sleep. She slept lovely though. She's full of energy this morning. So because of that, I think what I'm going to do is Luke's aid energy. Bear in mind it's half past nine. And then I'm going to sit here on my laptop watching junk on YouTube, listing all of my drafts that I've got. I'm going to go through all of these folders and see what's hiding inside them because normally there's something inside one of them or I'll just grab one. I better be empty. There you go. Look, there's stuff inside them. I'll just go through them all and see what's in there. That one's empty. But there's stuff in all of them scattered around somewhere. I'm going to put the old box on and just crack on. Uh... Check this out. Standard listing, ping pong paddle. Nothing spectacular, everything's normal. No special selling, just buy it now, require immediate payment. Allow offers, postage, normal. Rate table, everything's standard. But uh, what's that all about? And I've got a shop and I'm well up to it, two pounds 40. I'm looking and I just can't figure out. I'm going to click save for later and see what that does. I just can't figure out why it's doing that. Makes no sense. Let's go back into the draft now. I've saved it for later and scroll down. £2.40. Hold on. Never mind. I sussed it. I sussed it. I put my custom screw label in the subtitle box. Like an idiot. Sorry for being an idiot. <laughs> but first, it is time to go to a very special car boot sale. I'll see you in a bit. Hopefully, we can get lucky. What is it you're doing? I'm doing a sale. What's your name? Adery Sales. So, what have you got? I'm, I'm, got your bag. I'm pretending. Have you got I'm your phone? Adery Sales. I'm, I'm tagging up Adery Sales. Have you got your phone to check up on your items? Oh, oh yes, I have. Good girl. Have you got any? Have you got a wallet? Do you see your wallet? Oh, beautiful. Is that your laptop? Where's your computer? There's my laptop and my phone is your bag. So you have to sell some. I just need to get you some wallets. So what's in this area? Hello. I'm a bit scared. I think my actual wallet's in there. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Um, you have to get the sale down to me. Okay. I'm just going Glastonbury, bitch. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's enough now, thank you. No, you need lots of it. Why does she literally okay. look like she's about to go to a car boot? Okay. Right. Right, not done. You have to give all of that to me. Okay. Done. Hello, madam. Yes. How are you? Good. Are these your items for sale? I would like to buy some, please. Hello, Hello madam's dog. How much no, is no, how much is I'm this? Ada. Okay, Ada. Ricky, Ricky resells Ada. Ricky <laughs> resells for all my. Ada resells. Ada resells. How much is this unicorn? Ada resells, I am. Okay. How much is this unicorn? Uh, uh, is it this much? No. Queen, well, what, how, what, how much is this? That's £5. £5 only? Uh, oh, look at £5. Tell me, five, tell me what numbers there is in there. £20. You, you can have 100 if you want. So how much is the unicorn, madam? Five. Five. Thank you. And I'd also like this puppy. How much is the puppy, please? Uh, how much? Well, you have um, what number is that, Daddy? That's a 20. Where's that, that one? 20. I need 20. 20 pounds. Oh, God. Car boots are getting so steep. Okay. How much is this one? Uh, what is that one? Two 20s. That's 40. No, just one. Just one. Yeah. Okay. That's about, that's about a 20 as well. 
That's a bargain. That's mine now then. How much is this baby? Sorry, well, sorry, did I break your laptop? How much is this baby? Oh, just the cards. Okay, you can have the cards. They're all bloody empty anyway. And so, those stuff I, uh, I just need to get my wallet. So how, so how much is this? Oh, no, no, that's my computer. I'll buy your computer. No, you can't, because I need it. Okay, so this is the rest of my money then, is it? Okay, what, what what do I get for that? Nothing. Wait, you have to give me my my um, your pants. I'm giving you it all. There you go. Have it all. No, no, I'm about I'm about to go. You give the coins to me. Okay. Oh, oh. I need that card. Disrespectful. Wait, pass me that card quickly. Sorry. I want to show people what I look like. <laughs> Right, so ready? Here's the pounds. Thank you. And there's the last one. Thank you for the purchases. I'm going to take these and resell them on eBay for a big, big, big loss. Thank you. Right, I'm back from the car boot sale. I'm not going to spend too much time on the haul. You all saw that I got royally, royally ripped off. But uh, I'm sure the money is going to go to a good place. Thank you for your purchases, madam. Uh... <laughs> Spud. I look like a postman, Daddy. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. Spud. Well done. Well, I don't think that car boot sale was very fair. Anyway, I've done all my listing, so I thought I'd better come in here and do some sales. I wasn't going to bother because I just can't be bothered today. And that's okay. You're allowed to not be bothered some days. As long as you're working hard the majority of the time, you don't work for the man anymore. Or if you do, you won't soon. Crack on, keep moving forward. You're gonna do it. Which means you're not tied down. That's better. Shall I just walk out and come back in again? Start again. Let's do some sales. First off, we're gonna start on Vinted. The 13 pound Master System Seagear game. Not Sega, as in I'm saying it wrong. Sega Master System. Sega Master System. And the game is called. Oh, Sagaia. I don't know. Sagaia. I don't know. Sagaia. Who cares? £13. Some Levi's now. 501s sold for £6. They have shrunk in the wash. So the actual tag sizes are not what the tag sizes are. I've mentioned that in the description. They sat around for ages and ages. I went through my store yesterday, reduced loads of prices and sold lots of stuff. Six pounds for some Levi's. They owe me 50 pence, so I don't really care. To be honest. Paw Patrol bundle now. Paid two pounds for this, I think, or one pounds 50. I said if I split them up, I'd make more money. I thought I'd give them a bash at selling them in a bundle. Wasn't getting any offers. So I just reduced and reduced and reduced and got them sold for three pounds 50. So I made a couple of quid. Yes, I could have dug them back out the box and retook photos, but I just couldn't be bothered. I'm not, I'm not about that life. I've already done the photos. And this little cute see woot see now, Betty Boop Paris coin purse. If you remember rightly, it's from a car boot sale for 20 pence. I think, I'm sure it was 20p. Really, really nice. I've saw the, I saw these knocking around for about five quid, so they wasn't worth as much as I thought it was. Sold it for, I think, £3.80 on Vinted. Something, a weird number. Yeah, £3.80. We don't mind that, do we? And that's it on Vinted, eBay now. And before I do dive into the eBay sales, I wanna give a massive shout out to Tam and Bell. Please go check out their channel if you haven't already. If you haven't, I'm not too sure why. Lovely, lovely couple, and they're both put out unique individual and together content. Recently, I made a video about how I make more content for YouTube, how I get past the struggle of what can I film today, trying to always find that classic YouTube hook. I let that go and I said, just put up a camera and film. Do your work and film. And every now and then, just pop back and talk to the camera. When I film these videos, to me, you, I'm the, I treat this phone, I don't see it as an inanimate object, I see it as an audience. I see it as I'm talking to you guys. So I'll perform for you. 
nobody wants me to be what's well, only a phone um so i've sold this microfiber cloth for 10 grand god can you imagine so i'm here to entertain and that's what i do i'll put the camera up and i'll just work tam has recently took that inspiration and He's trialing that out himself now. So I'd really appreciate it if as many as you as you can would head over to his channel and show him a little bit of love and a little bit of support. I say him, there is two of them, Tam and Bell, but he's the one doing the videos there. Show them both lots of love and support. They've been with me since pretty much the beginning. So once again, massive shout out to you guys. Good luck on your new recording venture. And hopefully it brings you them views on your channel. You deserve it. Jasmine mentioned you in a short. Let me check that out. Ah, that's really cool. So Jasmine and Tam's in a YouTube channel. What they do is um, they scorch names into the earth. So if you want your name or a loved one or someone like that, it's just a really cool thing to do. And they commented on my channel. So I took a look at theirs, of course. That's what I do. And I saw what they were doing and I commented and said, oh, now I've got to see my name on there. And because what? who wouldn't want your name scorched into the earth? And they did it for me. So massively appreciate it. I can't play it with the music, of course, because it's copyrighted. But Jasmine and Tamsin, massively appreciate it. I don't know which one of you did it. One of you did. Uh, just a cool, funky little channel. I appreciate it. That's wicked. <laughs> anyway, moving over to eBay now. Only four sales on eBay by the look of it. Oh, but I've had a really important sale. Yes! So happy about this one. Lee, Lee, I love you, bro. I fucking love you. He's only gone and bought it. He's only gone and bought it. Sorry, I meant brought it instead. He's only gone and brought it. I'm going to stop trolling him now because he's probably at home somewhere. Great, it's G4. Lee has purchased the clock for a grand total of £30.98. pence. Used the coupon code. Cut whenever i give you prices it's always easier for me to give you a grand total price 30 pounds and 98 pence really really nice clock to be fair a few little marks and stuff here and there but all shown and lee i believe he's going to put it up in his post room and then send me a picture once it's up massively appreciate it this cost me seven pound for a boot sale i think seven quid i think thanks lee massively appreciate you mate so glad that's gone Piss off. Uh, the ink from yesterday which i told you about but I haven't shipped it yet. I was listing it and it sold immediately for $26.99. And then the other ink that I listed at the same time sold today for £11.04. I sent an offer out on a big bulk of stuff. So that sold. Uh, box H. See the YouTube H. Well, I didn't even know I had any of these bundles of cards left, to be honest with you. Box H is a bunch of... Hold on a minute. There's a note. How do, Ricky? I watch your videos on YouTube and you make me laugh out loud. Matt. Well, this one's going to you then, Matt. Matt, massively appreciate this. Matt, massively appreciate this. This one's going to you then, mate. Matt, massively appreciate. Mate, Matt, massively appreciate. Mate, Matt, massively... That's a... This is why I get no work done. Bundle of... A bundle of die-cast vehicles sold for, I believe, £9 all in. £9 all in. Some good ones in there, some nice little bits in there. If you break that down and sell them off, you're going to make a little bit of coinage. £9 all in. Matt, you the man. Mate, Matt, massive. Mate, Matt, massive. And that is everything for eBay. Just wanted to dump some thoughts I've been having after that little video from Jasmine and Tamsin. Although they have a massive channel, 100 plus K subscribers, and congratulations to you both. That play button looks awesome. I want one. We were talking about it. Yeah, although their channel is huge and they gave me a shout out on the video, that's not going to do much for me, I don't think, because the crossover of, you know, content, it doesn't quite work. So just because you get a shout out from a big channel... It doesn't mean it's going to do much for yours if those two channels don't really align. However, Jasmine and Tamsin, I believe, are looking into, well, they are now reselling. They're reselling part-time and they want to hopefully go full-time. So if those guys ever make a channel, I'm going to plug the hell out of them. Because that will work, you know what I'm saying? But it got me thinking about things. There are a lot of you guys out there that make YouTube content. And I've been trying to give my views, opinions, tips and advice over the last few videos to some of you content creators um, in hopes that you can draw something from what I do and add it into your own. 
okay? Numbers do not always mean success, but it's nice to have the numbers. I know a couple of you that are almost, that have reached 1,000 subscribers and you're just hovering under that um, 4,000 watch hours and you want to push over that. I know some of you that have got the 4,000 watch hours and haven't even hit the 1,000 subscriber mark yet. So it just got me thinking, if I was like a big channel, like a big reselling channel, I've got 11.4 of you lovely lot that follow me, I think at the moment, but it doesn't mean 11,000 people tune in all the time. Otherwise my videos would be 10K videos all the time. But that's a relatively big channel for the, for the UK reselling scene. I, ha I am very aware of that. Oh, and I've always said that if I ever had a massive channel, I would be dragging these small channels up with me. And that kind of happens a little bit naturally anyway. Whenever a YouTube reseller gets a big channel, it kind of drags all the little ones up a little bit as well. That's what happened to me because reselling was quite big during the um, lockdown era. And that's when I started it. And obviously a lot of resellers sort of took off and I just joined in with that. And, you know, it kind of took from there. But I've always said that if I get a massive, massive, massive channel, I would be plugging all of these little channels and get everybody monetized because getting people monetized gives you more drive to make content. I know how hard it is to make content for free. And people are going to say, well, you should do it for free anyway. Well, content takes time. So anyway, I've waffled on. Basically, if I had a big reselling channel, like a big one, I would be trying to pull people up. But I've come to the realization that in the reselling world in the UK, 11.4K is quite big. So what I propose to you guys is down in the comments down below, don't plug yourselves. Show some decorum, show some giving, and I want you to plug other smaller reselling YouTube channels in the comment that I can take a look at. And on the next few videos, I'm going to review the channel with you and watch a few videos. Actually, that sounds like a lot of extra work. Basically, I want to plug them. Drop a comment down. I might, I might review them with you as well. In the comment section down below, I want you to plug some of your favorite reselling YouTube channels. Try and think of the smaller ones, the ones that are just putting out content after content after content, but for some stupid algorithmic reason, don't seem to be getting anywhere, or at least they're climbing small. I want to start plugging them on here. So you're, as a viewer who doesn't make content, even if you do, normally you don't really have an audience. You put that into my inbox. You put that into my comments so I can see the information. I can extract it and add it to my audience. That's what I want to do for a few of you smaller reselling channels. Smaller does not always mean worse. Bigger does not always mean better. I know a few cracking reselling channels that have got small subscriber bases. So that's what I want to do over the next coming weeks. Drop a few names down below. I'm going to keep reminding you in the next few videos. That's not going to be competition entries and stuff. I'm just going to say every now and then. Don't forget, if you've got any small channels that you'd like to recommend, drop it down in the comment section below. Just like that. So on that note, that's what I need you to do. Drop some names down there. We're going to draw the DS winner next time. But for now, please drop some comments down below of some cracking YouTube channels that you think really need a little bit of extra light shined on them. Thank you so much and I really appreciate it. Jasmine and Tamsin, thank you for the scorched name in the earth that is immortalized forever. I really appreciate it. Take care. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Time to do some work. Mate, massive mate, 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 massive mate.